Devin Clegg, who appeared on 90 Day Fiancé. The Other Way recently provided updates about her children, daughter Drastilla, and son Taeyang on Instagram. Devin was featured on 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Season 1 with her husband, Jihoon Lee from South Korea. The couple met through an international dating app and bonded despite not speaking each other's language. Jihoon later traveled to the United States to meet Devin for the first time, and they soon became pregnant. Their son, Taeyang, was born on April 11, 2019. In 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Season 2, Devin moved to South Korea with her daughter and son to marry Jihoon. The couple got married despite Jihoon's struggles to find stable employment and provide for his family. After Jihoon failed to fulfill his responsibilities as a father and provider, Devin returned to the United States. A few months later, she introduced her new boyfriend, Hoffer Park, who she met while traveling to South Korea. In November 2022, Toffer and Devin got engaged after dating for about three years. How many children does Devin have? Devin has three children in 2024. Devin was very young when she welcomed her first child, Drasilla. At the time, she was dating her teenage boyfriend, whom she referred to as Tom. Devin was only 17 when she met him. She liked his nice nature and started living with him. Unfortunately, he turned out to be an abusive person. The 90-day fiancé. The other way cast member got pregnant at the tail end of their relationship with her ex-boyfriend. She got out of the relationship and decided to keep her baby girl, Drasilla. Devin welcomed her second child, Taeyang, after she debuted in 90-day fiancé. The other way. She got pregnant with her former husband, Jihoon, who seemed like a nice Korean guy at the time. Unfortunately, Jihoon disappointed Devin by showing a lack of concern for her and their child. His inability to provide for the family pushed the single mom to leave him and return to Utah. Devin began dating Korean boyfriend Toffer soon after breaking up with Jihoon. She welcomed her third child with him in October 2022. Why did Devin call her daughter, Priscilla, a wild child? Devin's daughter took off running on the show. Devin has shared her opinions of her kids over the years. In 2020, she infamously called her daughter, Drastilla, a wild child. She wanted to tell fans that Drasilla was her twin. One of the episodes even showed the little one running away, scaring all her family members. Devin called her daughter a wild child, probably because she was rambunctious at that age. The single mom wanted 90-day fiancé fans to know that her baby wasn't easy to control, which is completely understandable considering how Taeyang young she was diagnosed with leukemia in 2022. Taeyang could officially be cancer-free in 2024. Devin faced a heartbreaking situation in May 2022 when her son was diagnosed with B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. At the time, he was only three years old and too young to handle such a circumstance. Devin took her Instagram and shared all about his diagnosis. She asked fans to help her and started a GoFundMe to raise $50,000 for his treatment. While people initially didn't trust Devin, they eventually realized her situation was genuine. They helped her raise 43 as of 2024, ensuring Taeyang gets the care he needs. Devin's son faced many challenges during his treatment. The chemotherapy and other therapies weakened his body stopping him from enjoying his childhood. Thankfully, Devin and her new boyfriend tried to give the little one everything he wanted. They helped him create memories and be as happy as he could. Devin shared happy news in May, revealing that her son feels much better. She posted a video of him from Make a Wish Tower and wrote, he is thriving and doing amazing and has surgery soon to remove his chemo port. Hopefully, Taeyang will be officially cancer-free in August 2024. Devin shares a positive update about Drasilla. Drasilla dedicates all her energy to excelling in gymnastics. In February 2024, Devin's mother, Alicia Clegg, posted an update on Drasilla. She shared a video of her granddaughter practicing gymnastics and wrote, her form is getting better. It's still a long journey ahead. Devin later reposted the video. She told fans that her baby has been busy with gymnastics and school. Devin added, she's been progressing so much with gymnastics. The mom of three admitted she was proud of her first child.
Devin showed excitement at seeing her daughter compete in the upcoming contest and couldn't wait for the competition season. Devin is still with Toffer. Devin celebrates four years of togetherness with baby daddy Toffer. When Devin first started dating Toffer, she was accused of cheating on Jigun. However, she always dismissed the rumors and claimed that the show didn't show her former husband's aggressive side, which forced her to run away from South Korea with her children. Thankfully, it looks like Devin has finally found someone who respects her and cares for her children as much as she does. She has been with Toffer since her split from Jihoon and has spent many memorable moments with him in the past four years. Devin and Toffer welcomed their first baby together in October 2022. Although the couple hasn't tied the knot yet, they are already living up to their vows. Devin posted an Instagram story about how special Toffer is. She shared a picture of Taeyang with Toffer and wrote, Thank you, honey, for always being there for us. Devin celebrated four years of togetherness with Toffer by thanking him for making sacrifices and working late nights while caring for Taeyang amid his cancer battle. Hopefully, the 90-day fiancé. The other way alum will continue to live a happy life with Toffer.